Thomas is wearing a Packers uh, jersey. <laughs> which I have to let you know, he is from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Thomas moved to the to uh, Columbus a couple years ago with with his daughter, and uh, Thomas is really close to his daughter and her husband. And they have come here and supported him every family day. And uh, I know how much you appreciate them and you're very grateful and thankful to have him here uh, support you today as well. Um, Thomas is a man of integrity. This guy walks in obedience. Um, he's just done a great job leading with integrity, okay? The Bible says in Isaiah that God will look favorably on this kind of person. One who is humble, submissive in spirit, and who trembles at my word. All right. So Thomas walks in obedience and just as, just as important, he trusts in his leadership, which ultimately allows him to trust in God and in his word. Thomas was also a phase two house leader as well. And again, he was able to lead with humility, humility and gentleness and patience. And um, Thomas is very well versed in scripture. He loves reading the Bible and he loves to bring scripture when addressed in the house to encourage guys and to correct them. Um, Thomas loves to read books. <laughs> he read books so much that his first month we put him on a book reading restriction. <laughs> because when you come here to phase two it is about relationships okay and some of us can get like to be isolated be by ourselves but Thomas really opened up in relationships and as a house leader he did an amazing job leading these guys as well in relationship um, Thomas has an, a great support group at his church in Columbus and I know that uh, he wants to go back there and lead a men's group eventually when he gets back there as well. Uh, so my scripture for you comes from Luke 4.18. And it says, the spirit of the Lord is upon you because it's anointed you to bring hope to the poor. He has sent you to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and let the oppressed go free. So my prayer, Thomas, is that you continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory forever and ever. I love you guys. Alright, these guys are going to read their resolution to you. I'm going to start and let's take off with it, alright? I do solemnly resolve responsibility for myself and my family. I will love them, protect them, serve them, and teach them the word of God as the spiritual leader in my home. I will bless my family and teach them to love God with all their hearts, all of their minds, and all of their strength. I will train them to honor authority and live responsibly. I will confront evil, pursue justice, and love mercy. I will pray for others and treat them with kindness, respect, and compassion. I will work diligently to provide for the needs of my family. I will forgive those who have wronged me and reconcile with those I have wronged. I will learn from my mistakes, repent of my sins, and walk with integrity as a man answerable to God. I will seek to honor God and be faithful to His church, obey His word, and do his will. I will courageously work with the strength God provides to fulfill his resolution for the rest of my life and for his glory. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Give it up for him.